Our next tiara are tiaras are act there's actually two of them. One of them is made with a a slightly larger seed bead, the white ones, and it's just a flat band. And the other one is made with the smaller beads, and these are pink, and it's actually quite difficult to see, but there's tiny little beads on there, and it's just a band too. And I'm going to show you how to make these simple bands um, that you can use. What you do is you start with the base, with your, your twisted wire base right here, curl the ends, that's how we start with just about all of them, and you attach a long, very thin wire and string a bunch of seed beads on, Just you don't have to count, just a whole bunch, and I like to twist the end of the wire in a, in a circle, here we go, very end, I have it twisted so that way if I lose my beads and my hand can't hold them here, when they slide down they're not going to go falling all over the floor. And you just start, you let release one bead, hold it with one hand, and go up, go around, release another one, go around, I let go of two beads there, go back, and you continue all the way down, letting go of one seed bead. Now when you come to the end, you're going to turn around and start in the other direction. And you just line up the seed beads kind of the same all the way around, all the way down the row. And usually I go back and forth maybe three times to get a nice, a nice set. Let's see, where's the camera? Have them along the bottom, I'm getting them along the top. You just wrap them between each seed bead, go around the back and drop one, go around to the next one, drop, drop. There's one, and we're going to twist again. <clears throat> Now for this last row I like to have the seed beads right in the center. And over. And oh, I'm very lucky. They did stay on. The ones I lost control of. They're slippery little things. Put that there, go around. Put one there, there, just all the way down. Okay, that's it. Twist that off, and then you have another little uh, band tiara and just uh, bend this around. Here, I'll show you on this one. Just bend it around. Bend those in a little bit more. And that's it. There's your little band. The next one we have here is um, it has a bunch of spires coming up that are twisted, and I want to show you how to get those done. And this one's already made, and you can see they're all twisted like that. What you do is you take your you take your base and you start wrapping wires straight up, you know, straight up and down. I'm going to demonstrate with this wire here. Take the wire, and you wrap it a couple times, go that way, and then you take the, this wire and you go wrapping it the other way. You you really need to make sure you change direction or they're not going to stand up. Then, you see all, some of these are straight and some of these I've already done. I'm going to take uh, an eye pin actually, but you can use anything that's really skinny and will hold up to it. These bend pretty easy, but uh, they're still strong enough for this. So, I'll show you how to do it. And you want to use maybe a, um, on these spires that stick up that you're going to want to bend, because you want them to retain the shape, go with either a 26 or a 28 gauge wire. 
you just take your eye pin, make sure the eye piece, uh, the little flat piece on the edge here is not, you want it to slide off, so you want it up at the top, not where you're working. Just hold it, just like that, start twisting. And there you go. There's a little spire. Now this next one is, uh, well, it's more difficult. We're moving up in difficulty as we go along. I'm trying to get you used to how this, um, how this is, how, how to work with the wire. So I'm kind of going slow. This one has three uh, large crystals that are uh, just staggered up here at the top. I'm going to show you those. And then these are just the regular little seed beads um, on the end of the wire. And they're wrapped around. And then underneath we have the little swags. And I'll show you how to do this part and the swags, how to get those. That will be new for you. Uh, you take your long wire. We're going to make a couple. We need three of three of these. Grab that here. This time, don't twist it. I forgot. You don't need to twist it on these. Stick it in the top. And pull it apart. You take your, your base, your twisted wire base. You can do a straight base too, but the twisted helps um, keep them. Um, it, it just it helps keep it all together. Now what I'm doing here is I'm switching sides. This is a pretty heavy bead and um, I'm starting on one side and then I'll cross over to the other side of the bead and I'll go I'll put I'll take the wire and put it behind and go backwards. Here I want to do that with all three of these. Place one here. And I put it way over to the side. But you'll get the idea. You put another one right next to it. Go forward. Make it go the other way. Go behind. Go backwards. And you can go forward again. And go all the way down if you need to. Okay, now for this third one, let's see, what do I do with that one? This one, I am going to twist it a little, because I want to try and get it to stay up there. You can add, you want to get this, this third one you're going to want higher than the others, so you're going to add a few seed beads on there. This is going to be more work because this that you need to go over both of the wires, not just one. Just do your best to be patient and hope the kids don't come bug you while you're doing it. There you go, I put four seed beads on. I should give it enough height. You just put it back there. That looks good. I don't really want the seed bead shown, so I'm going to put it in the back. You just twist those wires any way you can. Get them to stand up. Make them listen to you eventually. There's your three right there. I didn't I did not center this well, but you'll want it centered.